Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another good old Rice Pits 01 video. And today we're going to be doing another WWE action figure review. And we're going to be opening the WWE Battle Battle Pack Series 61. And they are finally, first time on the line, good old Peyton Rice and Billy Kay, the Iconics. That's right. These ladies have been the best wrestlers I haven't seen in a long time. These 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 tag team ladies are my favorites, by the way. And they are from Sydney, Australia, as always. And here's the bag. You get the phenomenal AJ Styles with Daniel Bryan. You get the Usos, Jimmy and Jay. And then you get these ladies that we're reviewing today. So let's, without further ado, let's open up these battle packs. Alrighty, guys, here are... Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Peyton Royce because I really like her the most. Then, Billy Kay, which, no offense, I like her too. It's just I kind of like to start off with the, with the first one. So, she does have an England flag, but it's not only an England flag. It's basically an Australian flag, which kind of has the England flag on it, but it's both the same thing. But they just speak different... I want to say speak different languages. They just speak... Australian. So you get the Iconics on each shoe, which is pretty nice. I like the little details, like the little leaves coming down her, you know, um, wrestling attire. And it's going all the way to her um, fist, which, which is pretty nice. And then you get the Australian thing again on her butt, as always. Um, our arms can go 60 degrees. However, to let you guys know, her arms doesn't twist. What, let me show you as an example. Like the sting, like how this moves, like that moves, but this one doesn't. So, hopefully they'll make an elite version of this soon. Hopefully that'll be pretty nice. Um, yes, yeah, she can do the splits because she, it, it's sort of like an elite, but it's basically a basic without, you know, the arm movement. If it wasn't an elite... We, what we kind of had had double jointed knees and then little 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 twisty thing that I just showed you as an example. Sting is not a part of the thing, by the way. We're just focusing on these two women. Now I'm done with Peyton. Yes, no angle pivot, however. So that's kind of a little disappointing, but it's okay. She also does the splits. And, um... Arms definitely go 60 degrees. Like I said before, you cannot twist the shoulder blades or whatever you like to call the body parts, I guess. I don't know. Um, yipper. So she can definitely kick a little bit. Um, definitely do side to side on the waist area. Same thing for Peyton. Peyton Royce you can do the same thing. Um, no ankle pivots on her, however, and yes, she does have the Iconics on her shoe. Um, I like the little dots that go all the way around. Kind of like that. It's really a nice detail. Kind of like that. Um, yipper. Oh, I'm trying to fix her leg over here. Alright, I think that's it. So, yeah. I like her face because it's made from, well, yours truly. The True Effects Edition, if you guys want to look very closely, it looks exactly just like them in real life, how they wrestle and all that stuff. So, alright, it's time to read, give the figures a rating. So, to the scale through 1 through 10, what do I give these figures? Well, I like the figures. If maybe we had more angle pivots, maybe more jointed knees and maybe do something over here so we can like twist it make them feel like they have a pretend that they had like a fake injury as an example like they twist their arm which they'll probably never happen but say like sting as an example like pretend his arm is hurt but you could basically twist it back so i kind of wish they added that on the basics but everything else like their attire looks good like their face looks pretty good i'm gonna have to give it and not no i'll, I'll no i'm not not, not, not a 9. I'm going to give it an 8 plus, which is kind of close to a 9. Like, it's great. And maybe if they came with their t-shirts, then maybe I would change my mind and give it an 8 plus plus. 
but I will, I'm going to give it an 8 plus 1 just for now. But other words, yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment if you like this tag team or any other tag team in the women's division in the WWE. Leave your suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. P -p Peace.